What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to Kangaroos TV. Liverpool three, Tottenham one. We won. We score goals. It's all all right. It's all all right. We're going back to the top, like Rio says on that. We move in silence. Get out. Anyway, listen. I think first of all, there's a, it was a solid performance from Liverpool from all around. I can't really think of any players that really disappointed me or anything like that. I think all round, from defence all the way up to up top, I think everyone had a solid performance, and there was a few standout performances from me. Now, I don't want to say yeah that we're pissing on a good win or anything like that. We don't want to be negative, but all I'm saying is, yes, we've won, but I'm still very worried. I can't go and enjoy this win as I would want to because I can just see what's ahead of us. And I don't know if you feel the same or if Liverpool fans feel the same as me or if you're fully gas thinking this is what we needed and this is going to kick us on. Because I know there's some fans that will believe that, but I just think the whole news with Matip now being injured, Fabinho not even starting. Like nowhere as well. Probably. And the thing is, I called it. As soon as I see him trying to keep up with Son, Son was doing a madness when they first started. Tottenham, the best part of the game for them was when in the first few, what, 10 when minutes? They had their goal disallowed. The goal disallowed, they were on it. They were, and Kane and Son were finding each other. And when I see Son making Matip spread his legs, yeah? I, was, I he said, it, he, called, he said, he goes, if Matip, he goes, Matip will be injured in this game. He goes, he goes, he goes, he goes you can write that down. Fact, he could be injured this game. And I literally said to my husband, nah, I goes, listen, I goes, he'll be injured after the game. I goes, after the game, there'll they be something wrong with him. And he goes, nah, he goes, he won't make it out this game. Because the way that they were putting the burners on, make him make you run. He looked like, he, and I thought to myself, I goes, I know he's not quick, but he's not that slow, like that slow. You but obviously, me. ankle ligaments done. So that's, that's a season ender. From this point, that's a season ender. And the thing is, like someone that tagged us in the Instagram, uh, um, uh, Cop Valley or Valley Cop, I can't remember his fake name, but, um, he, you know, Sorry, it's Bally Cop, yeah. And he tagged us saying that, you know, don't let this win pave over the cracks. Like, this, don't think that you can get away with this FSG. That was his statement. And I get that. Because w what is happening at Liverpool is, is sh shocking to think that we're in the situation we find ourselves in. Because, and I just hope that they don't think this, this win is all right now. I, I, I've said this before, right? And you've got, to, you've got to pin yourself up against the best team that they've been. And now, for me, in my generation, the best team that I'd say I've seen, as much as it hurts me to say it, uh, the Invincibles are up there, but the Man United team that was winning trophies under uh, Sir Alex and where he was scrapping teams, building teams up again. But the one thing he did, whenever they won a trophy, he always brought in a, a Don, a Donny. Someone that's going to come in and be like, right, okay, yeah, let's keep these boys on their toes. Someone that you wouldn't expect and you think, oh my God. And all the players are like, you know what, I, I want to impress this guy. And yes, they've done that to a certain extent with Thiago, to a certain extent. But the defensive issues, the, if, if we get out of January, if we get out of January and we don't sign a centre-back, yeah, then, as far as I'm concerned, then it's not even top four. We, I don't, I can't see us getting into top four, and, I'm, and that's not me bantering. I'm being serious. That's what like you, you got, you got Crouch and was a Rio saying to each other that like, I think Liverpool will finish above United. If you carry on, like if they if, don't if, get a centre back, if they don't get a centre back, right? They have got Henderson Penn in there. Nat Phillips for me, we were talking about him as well, like and and Reece Williams. They're, they're not at the level just yet, just now. Like every time they make a tackle, we're like, oh yes, like so buzzing. We're like, I didn't expect that. And, and, and that's not what that's not defending champions. That's not how it should be for defending champions. Yes, I know the financial, they're different. But, what, but the, the point I made to you earlier was the Euros are around the corner. The Euros are around the corner. There's players that aren't getting minutes. There's players that aren't playing, right? So you can get a loan. You can get a loan. You can also get someone, someone to subsidise wages or whatever. Because if they're, if, they're already getting, if they're already paying wages, then there's a, there's a chance that they will let them someone contribute or whatever. There, is, there are avenues. There are people available. We were laughing about it. One of my friends tagged me. He said he was a Liverpool uh, 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 um, uh, uh, linked to Socrates, Socrates, Mate, get him in. We just need bodies. We need bodies. Like, I don't remember. I can't remember which manager was in charge here. But do you remember when we brought in? What was it? Was it Corker? Is that his name? Stephen Corker. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We brought. Cause he, he had, had problems as well. We just bring him in. Cause we needed bodies there. Someone said it on uh, BT. They said Martin Skirtle just left that Istanbul Basak here. Yeah. He's available on a free. Get him in. Get Daniel Aga out of retirement. Get him in. <laughs> we need bodies. We need people that can play centre back. That's, that's what I, that's what baffles me. Like you're telling, t you're trying to tell me that you can't conjure up some amount of money or free up some money just to cover for have cover in that position. I'll be guaranteed there'll be players who say you should give. I'll do it for free. I'll do it. Yeah, yeah like I mean, <laughs> no, you know what I mean. Though. Yeah, but there's people that will be like, listen, I, I need to get, I need to play. Yeah, right. And I need to play before the World Cup or uh, all the Euros, and I need to be, I need to be available. And for a good, if, if you're a top player and you're not getting minutes in Europe or somewhere, you're gonna be like thinking, I tell you what, I'll play there. So to speak to my agent, call them, tell them I'm available. 
So I'm sure that there's, there's stuff out there, but like I said, there's, there's no getting away from that. So anyway, I don't want to get too negative just dishing out because, listen, we, we, had to, we waited a long time to get a Premier League win and we've got one and it was a very, very good one. I think the one point that you wanted to make, I'll let you make it, was that throughout the whole game, you know, whenever we scored, I think you made a point, we conceded a goal within one minute of scoring. Oh, do you mean like you were talking about the game management? Yeah, yeah, like for, yeah. Me, like for me, the, yeah, like uh, this is where I want to see, like where we conceded goals straight away. This way, you've got the players there, you've got Milner, you've got Thiago, you've got the experience just to say, listen, we're going to keep this team away from us for the next five, ten minutes. There's no way these guys are coming back in the game. Letting them come back in the game. We well, didn't deserve to. We had so much of the possession that game, dominated really. And this is where you see that Harry Kane, if he's not playing that Tottenham side, bruv, it's Finis. <laughs> I felt Finis. I felt sorry for Son, cuz. Like, even he's playing against us. I was like, my mind, he can't get anywhere in this game. He Even his body language was like, ah, oh, what? <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? What is this? Like, oh, I never knew that. Because, <laughs> like, and I've said this, I said this to you earlier, and I know it was, it was said afterwards as well, but we said this as well. My Tottenham fans would probably be able to relate to this, but them not having Kane in that side is like Liverpool without Virgil van Dijk. Yeah. They ain't got an Achilles. They ain't got a flipping, they, they're missing a massive piece. When Tottenham lost Kane, yeah. even when he's on the pitch and he's injured, they're, still, they're, all, they're all at it. As soon as he goes off, they just lose belief. They lost, for me, they just lost belief completely. Son was non-existent. When Kane went off, Son was non-existent. There was just nothing there. And if he's out for a while, listen, I hate to say it, but they're going to get Spursy real quick. They're going to get real Spursy real quick because Bell, my days... Pick, he got the ball out of his feet in the 85th minute, wherever it was, and he went to hit a diag. He just kicked it out of play. But there was no one even near. I think you're right. Tottenham, I, I personally think, will get found out now. And I think the, the window is far too, far too gone for to replace someone of that calibre anyway. But Tottenham will get found out now. But, uh, but the, the, what baffles me was with Mourinho. Is the, the, he set up a team set, and I thought, do you know what? I thought, fair play. He's seen that Liverpool on the ropes, and this is a chance to beat Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's gone... Free to back, he flying never wing, yeah, flying never. full backs, and yet there was fight. Look, with, there was times in the first half I was saying to us, like this defensive shape, we're going to get found out because they've got bodies in, yeah. in there, right? As soon as I saw that, I thought fair play to Mourinho because he gets a lot of stick, but he also sniffs, he smelt blood, yeah. and he went for it, didn't okay. he? Definitely. Do you know what I mean? And I looked at that and I thought he's gone for it, but then I and, they were, and they were, like we said earlier in the game, they were having success. I was thinking, boy, this game is going to be tough, yeah, because they, like you said, they they, they sense the frailties in the defense, and Kane and Son. That that pass through the through the middle of the two centre backs that that could be happening all game. They, they, they picked up pockets of space in between the in the in between the lines between the defence and midfield. And every time I looked in there, either Son was sat in there, Bergwijn was sat in there, or, or Harry Kane was sat in there. And I'm thinking to myself, Spurs are looking all right. Like this is this is the, I didn't expect this. I never expected it. I didn't think that. And, and don't forget, we got a VAR decision go our way. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. We were looking at it thinking that there's no way that they're going to get this VAR decision. I just thought that's a goal. I thought it's a goal. And I thought, <laughs> perfect. Because Spurs are probably thinking, sick. All of a sudden, the banks change. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I expected. But then, as soon as it got given, I thought, well, literally, we both of us were like, what? This is what it feels like. This is what it feels like. Oh, mad. <laughs> but it, it came back to, It came back round <laughs> in the game. It came yeah. back round. Um, but yeah, the way Spurs set up, I just thought to myself, like, they're, they're going to go for this. They're, they're, they're looking to go for this, this game. And they smelt blood. But... Um, as soon as Kane went off, it just felt like it was like a balloon that just popped. It literally, that's what it was like. It just, the boom, balloon popped and they were just out. They were there for the taking. As we're on the topic of the Tottenham players, we'll quickly get through them and then get onto the Liverpool players and, and, and how, they, how they got on in the system. You talked about uh, Dombele. Excuse me. Oish. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he was doing a madness. But this isn't the first, I've watched him for a couple of times and I thought to myself, mm, I don't know, because they were, they were looking to let him go. I watched the documentary. They were looking to let him go. And I remember Barcelona putting in a ridiculous offer. And I thought, what are Barca seeing here that we're not? This is what they've been seeing. Yeah, baller, man. The way he was doing that, he sent people to the shops for fun. He sent Thiago to the shops a couple of times. Nah, decent, decent player. And then moving on from the good players, yeah, there's certain man that you want to target, yeah? Like, there's Dyer in there, there's Winks. I'm going to jump in straight away. Aurier in that. I'm going to speak to, I'm going to speak to, I'm reaching out to the, to the Spurs man, yeah? Can someone put... Someone please tell me what Harry Winks does. I'm not, I'm, I'm not even bantering. I'm not joking. Like, I'm, a, I'm an England fan. I want England to win. Yeah, I want England to do bits. And if, if Harry Winks is in the England team, tell me what, I'm, what he's going to be doing. Is he going to keep the ball, keep it moving? Is he, does he, does he, you know, is he, is he combative? Does he break up play? Is he going to spin it in behind? What is it? Because 
every time I've seen him play, he might as well not be playing. He's for me, he's one of the worst players I've seen play. And and that sounds like I'm, I'm listen, I'm just being honest. If I see his name on an English squad, I'm like, what? what's the point? What's the point? And another person I don't ever want to see anywhere near the England squad, yeah, is Eric Dyer. I don't want to see him anywhere near the England squad. Nowhere near the England squad, I'm sorry. Because for me, what? today, I'm watching him today, and I thought to myself, he looks like he's knackered. From the, the ball just, they just started the game. Yeah, he looks knackered. But they have been playing him centre-back, innit? Like, he's, he's not a centre-back. No, 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 he's a centre-back by trade. Well, well I believe that's, that has been moved into midfield. He's a DM, isn't it? Let's be honest. He's a DM, a man that sit there and he's playing that role. And like that, that goal, like, first of all, I don't know what Laurie is doing. Yeah, like he's, I've always seen him as a decent goalkeeper, like a decent keeper. And I don't know what he was doing today, like parrying the ball out to Trent, the, the one with the dive one. You, you're either coming or you're going, Dyer's left it. I don't know what's happening there. And I agree with you. I think Dyer, you've got other players in those positions and you'll be picking a way. I'm saying it from an England perspective. Yeah. Like obviously for Spurs, I don't watch Spurs every week, but from what I've seen, Harry Winks, I, I don't know what he, I don't know what it is that he does. I don't know how he's getting gigs. Is it because he's English that they want to, they want to persevere with it because he's come through the academy? I don't know what it is. I can't see it for the life of me. But the other ones, yeah, Bale, Lamella, Lamella when he came on, what? Where was this guy? I said to you, I was like, you know what? He's a problem because he's aggressive and he wants to run at people. Yeah, I don't, I don't really. He pulled out tackles today with Milner. He pulled out, he pulled out fifty fifties. And Gareth Bale, Spurs. Fans, talk to me. Tell me something. Because he ain't on it. No, it's, it's done. I, I think that, like, you, now you can see, like, uh, Zidane, we, we thought Zidane was, like, being harsh. Being whatever. harsh, boiling him off for some other reasons. But you're now seeing the Marina exactly the same. Um, so, just the last one I want to make is, gone from a Spurs perspective, Harry Kane's gone off. Vinicius is on the bench. He's a striker. You've brought him in as your backup striker. And then you stick Son through the middle. If you're Vinicius, you're probably thinking, oh, I don't know, I scored a hat-trick when I, I know it was a cup game, but every time I played, I scored goals. Hello? I'm sat right here. Like, what's going on? Do you know what I mean? Well, the, the, after, the, after the game was gone, it was finished, yeah? Like, like you said, it's a, he's a massive uh, part of that jigsaw and that team. He's the heartbeat. He's the heartbeat. 100%. 100%. 100%. Going on to Liverpool, yeah? One thing that I noticed today, and I, I liked it, I think a lot of fans may have noticed it as well, is Thiago playing higher up that pitch, yeah? Yeah. yeah? Play him as the number eight, as we were saying before. You've got to try something different here because Thiago going backwards he ain't, he ain't working. He can't go backwards yeah. that way because it's too far. But, he's, but picking pockets, you know he, the way he picks pockets for people? Exactly. To trying to play, he's very good at picking the pockets. And the other thing I, I, we picked up today is that the aggression in the press. Tottenham were going to try and play out. They were going to try and play out. In the first half, they tried to hit us on the counter, which, they, which looked threatening because a couple of times one ball took out three players and that was worrying. But when, when Kane went off, all of a sudden it's like, right, Hold on a minute, these aren't good enough. That's what it looked like. Liverpool, like, they're not good enough. They can't pop it out, so let's go and press the life out of them. And they did. And when they did, they kept winning the ball back. Firmino today. Let's say one week, yeah, you see, the, you see the Liverpool fan base saying, this guy's finished now, he's done, we need a striker. And next week, he, bring, he brings back people thinking, hold on a minute, this is why we fell in love with the guy. Like today, the things that he was doing was beautiful. That's classic. That's and like, classic. You, like we said, the touches, the little go get. Just making people look stupid with little one little touches, taking people out of the game. Sadio Mane today, he managed to get an assist, he managed to get a goal, and he wasn't even that great. That's the most amazing shit performance I've ever seen. <laughs> but then, like you know, with the uh, with the goal before even Trent to leave was at Doherty. Yeah, yeah, he left him for dead, and like, he, but then he skidded himself up, and I don't he know. Did what step, he did a step over, and as he did a step over, he managed with his other foot to heal it back, and then go and wipe out Hoijberg. Yeah. I was just like, what's this, what, how's that happened? But then he scored and he sets up a goal. And you're just like, well, that's, I don't mind him doing all the dumb shit if he's going to do that. But he wasn't even doing, he wasn't even getting in positions to score or set up goals. So, you mad. mad. But if you just mentioned Hoijberg, yeah. Hoijberg, yeah. Of <laughs> that goal. <laughs> Declan. We saw that goal go in. We were pissed, obviously, because we considered it so quickly. But we was like, we looked at each other and went, that's a goal. The way he struck, struck that ball, mad. So, I can't, but, that, but to him... I like we we discussed it. To how did he get so much room to just lick off a shot like that? Yeah. But you probably will back it to say, yeah, from Hoiberg from that far, you get gone. Take, 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 go on, mate. I can feel your boots, brother. <laughs> Do you know what, what I mean? Sure. If you beat Allison from there, fair play. So fair play. <laughs> um, the one player that we've been digging out a lot, yeah, is Trent. How did you rate his performance today? Like, it's a for, like. Don't get me wrong. Even when he in the first half, you could see he was still carrying a bit of that the the dodgy. You could see he the confidence was still a bit sort of here and there. 
But the one thing you have, to, I, I love, is that he grew into the game, and I think it does take an assist. It does take a, a cross that, and you start feeling your mojo come back. Mm. And we said this. Listen, I said pull him out and let let Milner have a go right back or whatever. But they stuck with him. But the the difference is, I think he's so young. Everyone forgets how young he is because he's been so successful since he's come in a team. It's inevitable that you go through those dips, and we said that. It's inevitable that it happens. It's how you come out the other side. Now, I'm not saying that he's he's out and he's, he's fine. He's back to where he needs to be. But he scored today, and he set up a goal. The parry from, from Lloris was poor, but for him to put, put himself in that position, to be where he was, was, was brilliant. And then, obviously, that cross is, is vicious. So, it, I'm just glad that we're seeing steps in the right direction. Just yeah. back, follow it up now, because we've got another big game coming up in the weekend. And they're, they're all big games, but, you know, follow it up, because, you know, he has been miles off it. As have a lot of them. Um, that quick shout I just want to give to is Milner as well I think for Milner he was, he was leaving challenges in there showing what he's about and he was I think it was his actual attitude was going on you can tell it off on people that's yeah. it he was rolling off on, on the rest of the players like he's leaving challenges in he keeps working his decision making at the right time very very good um, so I think that helped a lot uh, with... and Hendo oh, look at that he just slops at the centre back and you wouldn't even notice that man's not a centre back do you know what I mean? To do yeah. a job like that. It was, it was very good. But like I said, I think all around the board, it was solid performances today from the team. Um, so I can't, I, I'd say, you know, full, full credit to the team to delivering that result. Uh, Tottenham, some serious errors, um, personal mistakes and all this kind of stuff from the players. I, I wonder, I, I'd, ask, I'd love to ask Spurs people, people, football fans that watch this, from a Spurs perspective, you've got to be worried. You've got to be worried. If, if Harry Kane doesn't play and that's, the, that's, what, that's what you've got to look forward to for the rest of the season or however long he's out for, that's got to be a problem. That's got to be something to worry about. That's, we can let them worry about that problem, but I, I totally hear you. I think that's a big problem there. And now I, 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 see, I think you're going to see the frailties now in Tottenham because he was carrying them. He, not just like for the goals, the assists. assists yeah. he, like he's a, I think he's an amazing player right, for what he does. But let's talk quickly about Liverpool because I'm, I'm concerned. I am genuinely concerned. Like, I know we've won and now the, hopefully the mentor picks up, but who the hell plays centre-back, bro? Going to the next game against West Ham, who plays centre-back? Who, who are you putting there? Hendo Ooh. and Nat Phillips. Phillips. They've got to play. They've got, they've got to play in there. And Nat Phillips, listen, like I said, from the time that he wins a header and we're gassed because we don't expect it, that's not how it should be for a team that's a defending champions. The other thing I just want to quickly touch upon before we wrap this up is the VAR decision to disallow the Liverpool goal off of the Firmino handball. Okay, yes, it's hit Firmino's hand, right? But if you're going to disallow the goal for a handball... At what point do you... How is it their free kick? Because if you're just standing for a handball, my man's handballed it and he's literally got my... He's got, he's got Firmino in a chokehold. So I, don't, I really don't understand what the, what the decision making is. You've gone to the screen, you've seen it. Like, I'm just so... You, you, that's the worst thing. You watch him, watch the screen, and make, watch the handball from Dyer. Like, like, what? what are you doing? Like, what is... VAR, like, I'm done with this bullshit. Like, yes, we've had a decision go our way. because We've had loads go against us. But then you look at that decision and you think, just common sense. Common sense. If, you're, if it's a footballer looking at that, I like to think an ex-pro look at that and say, right, okay, well, he has handballed it, but then saying that Dyer's handballed it and he's fouling him. So if we're going to pull it back for the handball, let's look at the whole incident. Before the handball takes place, there's a handball and a foul. So it's a, it's a no goal and Liverpool free kick. But to then give them the free kick, I'm just like, what a, what is going on? So quickly to wrap up with this long ass video we've done. So apologies for that. And if everyone to stick to the end, you know, we appreciate it. Um, man of the match. I'm gonna give it to Trent just because I think it was it was a it was one of those performances that he it's got him back to you know. I'm gonna go for a surprise one. I'm going for Genie. I thought he was in the mid in that pocket there. He was busy. He was doing a lot of things for me. I, I, just, yeah, I think I, front I, I agree game. with that. My question, another question I will ask is um, who 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 do we get in as a replacement? Because it's, he's off. He's gonna go. He ain't gonna be there. Uh, I've heard of that Bissouma, and I've heard of, for me Tillemans. Go and get Tillemans. Case closed for me. So until the West Ham game. Uh, don't forget to share, like and subscribe and definitely comment. Peace. Peace.